Hello students, in this video class, we are going to discuss about method overloading, which is also called as function overloading. Now, what is method overloading or what is function overloading? Hmm? Method overloading is one of the form of polymorphism. Method overloading is one of the form of polymorphism in which a class contains multiple methods having same name, but different parameter list. So method overloading, which can be called function overloading, is a polymorphism ka ek swaroop, ek form. What is it? That in a class, there are many methods ko define kiya jata hai, jinka naam same. But parameter list different when i say parameter list it means number of parameters should be different when i say parameter list should be different it means number of parameters should be different and or data types of the parameters should be different okay so let us see let us discuss about that okay method overloading method over loading listen so today our point of discussion is method overloading method overloading which is also called as function overloading which is also called as function overloading method overloading or function overloading so what is method overloading or function overloading method overloading is one of the form of polymorphism is one of the form of polymorphism method overloading is one of the form of polymorphism in which A class contains in which a class contains multiple methods having same name but different parameter list but different parameter list okay different parameter list what is the meaning of different parameter list different parameter list means number of parameters number of formal parameters should be different or must be different number of formal parameters of the method must be different number of formal parameters must be different and or data types of the parameters data types of the formal parameters data types of the formal parameters must be different must be different data types of the formal parameters must be different okay clear example see example
public class m o demo means method overloading demo curly bracket start let me define a method with name m1 see the method can be static or non static okay so it doesn't matter okay what matters these two things if these two things are satisfied then you can say method overloading concept has been applied within our program what are the two conditions the two conditions are method names must be same methods names must be same but with different parameter list now when i say different parameter list two things are there number of formal parameters must be different and or data types of the formal parameters must be different so let me make it static you can also make it non static it totally depends upon you so public static void the return type of the method can be anything void or apart from void okay it doesn't matter what matters the method name should be same suppose m1 okay and let me print something ah uh, system dot out print ln you can print hi hello anything let me print m1 method okay m1 method of class m o demo of class m o demo means method overloading demo okay then public static void m1 only okay method name should be same suppose int x let me display a message system dot out dot print ln within double quotes m1 int method see you can display anything hi hello okay your name but i am displaying some meaningful thing so this is m1 non parameterized just i have given the parenthesis blank parenthesis it means m1 here is the non parameterized method of class mo demo and in this case m1 is a parameterized method having only one parameter clear na so m1 within bracket i have written int it means m1 method parameterized m1 method having only one parameter okay so m1 int method of class of class m o demo that is method overloading demo okay now let me define another method with same name public static void m1 int a so here i will get the error you may say that sir i have changed the parameter here the parameter is x and here the parameter is a no hmm the name of the parameter doesn't matter what matters is number of parameters and or data type of the parameters here how many parameters are there one here how many parameters are there one here what is the data type of the parameter int here what is the data type of the parameter int so not allowed it is not allowed ओके दो में से एक चीज को तुमको चेंज जरूर करना पड़ेगा ठीक है या तो नंबर ऑफ पैरामीटर्स को चेंज करो उसमें एक पैरामीटर इसमें दो हम्म या फिर डेटा टाइप को चेंज करो सो लेट मी डिफाइन इंट एक्स कॉमा इंट वाई टू पैरामीटर्स सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट लेन एम वन int int what is the meaning of m1 int int parameterized method having two parameters so m1 int int method of class m o demo of class m o demo of class m o demo. okay then public static void m1 suppose yes byte byte x now you can see here you can see here 
how many number of parameters are there? One. And here, how many parameters are there? One. But what is the data type of this parameter in? And what is the data type of this parameter by? So it is okay. Okay, it is okay. No issues. Then display the message system.out.println m1 byte within bracket byte. It means parameterized m1 method having one parameter of byte type. Okay. Method of class mo of class m o of class m o clear. So we can say here the method names are same. Yes, okay. So you can see what is the name of the method here? M1. What is the name of the method here? M1. What is the name of the method here? M1. What is the name of the method here? M1. Okay. Here the method is non-parameterized. Here the method is parameterized, having one parameter. Here the method is parameterized, having two parameters. Here the method is parameterized, having one parameter, but of type byte. Clear? So this is method overloading. This is nothing but your method overloading. Okay, this is your method overloading. method overloading. Now let me show it to you. Listen. Create a class, click on OK, double click over it, maximize the screen, control A, backspace, control, plus, 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 listen. P U B L I C public class M O demo method overloading demo P U B L I C public S T A T I C static V O I D void M1 method non parameterized. Okay system dot out system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print and then m1 method m1 method of class mo demo of class mo demo now let me copy this method copy okay paste 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 control minus 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 Suppose this method is parameterized, okay, having one parameter of type int. So let me display int parameter m1 int method of class mo demo. Let me write here int x, comma, int y. So m1 int int m1 int int method of class mo demo. Now let me make it byte x. So M1 byte byte method of class M1. See, this is just a message. Okay, within double quotes, whatever you write, it will get printed on the output screen as it is. Okay. Now listen. So this is method overloading. Curly bracket close, curly bracket close. Control shift I control K. No syntax. Okay, so this is method overloading. Okay, but if I write here int. If I write here int, even if I change the variable name, make it a, it will show me the error method m1 int is already defined in class mo demo. See m1 method m1 int is already defined in class mo demo. Why? Because you can see the second method m1 has only one parameter which is of type byte. And the last method m1 method Again, it's a parameterized method having one parameter of type byte. Clear? Okay. So here we need to make some change. Let me change the data type. So control K, no syntax. Okay. Now let me create another class. Okay. Tester class. Listen. 
PUBLIC public class test or public class tester PUBLIC public STATIC static BOID void main capital STR ing string array space ARGS okay now I want to call the M1 method okay so here I will get the error here here I will get the error cannot find symbol method M1 ये एरर क्यों आ रहा है क्योंकि कंपाइलर m1 मेथड को टेस्टर क्लास के अंदर ही खोजने की कोशिश कर रहा है ओके द कंपाइलर इज ट्राइंग टू सर्च द m1 मेथड फ्रॉम विद इन द बॉडी और विद इन द बॉडी ऑफ टेस्टर क्लास ओनली विद इन द बॉडी ऑफ टेस्टर क्लास ओनली एंड विद इन टेस्टर क्लास ओनली वन मेथड वी हैव डिफाइंड एंड दैट इज मेन मेथड सो वी हैव टू टेल द कंपाइलर अरे कंपाइलर m1 मेथड ऑफ mo demo class so you will have to check whether the method is static or non static if the method is static you have to call it by class name if the method is non static then you will have to create an object of the class and then upon that object you have to call the method now since the methods are static i will use the class name and what was the class name within the block of which m1 methods were defined m o demo M O demo dot M one control K no syntax error control K no syntax error. Okay, now can I can I write M O demo dot M one and pass ten point zero control K error no suitable method found for M one double why because within the class M O demo there is no such method with name M one whose parameter type is double whose parameter type is double here the method is non parameterized here the method is parameterized having one parameter of type int here the method is parameterized having two parameters x and y of data types int int here the method is parameterized having one parameter of type byte nowhere we can find the method having one parameter of type double that is the reason we are getting error here we are getting error here clear now let me pass the values sequentially it is not needed to pass the value sequentially it totally depends upon your choice let me pass it sequentially so non parameterized then int then the two int values and then byte now okay listen then one int value supposed to be. okay uh, let me copy this why to write it again and again yes or no control v control v okay then two values assume the two values are 45 any any integer value 45 and 12 okay and then 10 control k no syntax error so what will be the output listen what will be the output listen very very interesting Listen <clears throat> So we have called the main method. We have called the main method. From within the body of main method of tester class, we are calling the M1 method, static M1 method of MO demo. Okay. Uh, and while calling the M1 method, excuse me, uh, while calling the M1 method, okay, I have not passed any value. So the control will go uh, within the class MO demo and search for that particular M1 method, which is non parameterized. So the control will go from here to here. Okay, so we will get the very first line M1 method of class MO demo. So on the output screen, the first line will be this one, my dear students. What? M1 method. M1 method of class. M1 method of class. MO demo. MO demo. Okay, M1 method of class. MO demo. Then the control will return back to this particular place. Then the control will return back to this particular place. 
this okay so this is step number one okay and this is step number two okay actually it should be step number three because it is printing so printing should be step number two and returning should be step number three but let us manage huh? the control is going so step number one and the control is coming back from that method step number two within these two steps one more step sub step is there to print this line m1 method of class mo demo okay then then we have passed value 10 so the control will go within the block of mo demo demo uh, class within the block of mo demo class and search for that particular m1 method which is parameterized having single parameter of type int of type int because by default any numeric value without decimal point is an int type value so 10 is a numeric value without decimal point so it will be considered as an int type value so the value 10 will go from here and it will be received by this particular parameter and this line will be printed okay so what will be the output m1 int m1 int method m1 int method of class of class mo demo of class mo demo then the control will return back to that particular place from where the method was invoked okay then then we are calling m1 method by passing two parameters two actual parameters or you can say two arguments int type arguments so the control will go within the block of mo demo class and search for that particular m1 method which is parameterized having two parameters of type int so 45 okay let me write this step just wait so this was step number one then two that this is step number three and this is step number four the control is returning back okay then 45 the value 45 will be received by x and the value 12 it will be received by y then the control will go within the body of m1 method and this will be displayed okay so what will be displayed m1 int int m1 int int method of class m o demo of class m o demo clear then the control will return back to that particular location from where the method was invoked clear now some students might be thinking what might be thinking that this value 10 will be received by a <laughs> no as i have already told you any numeric value without decimal point hmm? any numeric value without decimal point is considered as an int type value so the control will now go to this particular method the last method the control will go again to the second method the control will go to the second method that is so this line will be printed again okay so m1 int method of class m o m of class m o okay let me write down the steps huh? i'm not writing the steps so this was huh? this was uh, step number one then two then three then four uh, then step number five okay the control is going okay these are not values okay values are 45 into the value 45 and 12 these values are going but this is step number five i'm writing just the steps then this is step number six sir up though are five five steps no like him okay though values jar and the arrow lines do to banana param which is the donor milik then of five taken chalo six wapas gaya here this is step number seven this is your step number seven take fear se control yaan se wapas jayega kaha pe yaan se control wapas is jayega jayega you get mara step number eight step number eight Step number eight ke baad aur koi method invocation ho nahi raha hai. Method ka sara ka sara lines execute ho gaya. So this is the final output that we will get. This is the final output that we will get. Now listen. 
compile close close it call the main method okay you can see okay you can see the output you can see the output. match match these m1 bracket method of class mo demo m1 int method of class mo demo m1 int int method of class mo demo m1 int method of class mo demo yes or no so on the output screen we are not getting this particular message we are not getting this message why yes, sir how to get this message yes just do one thing while passing this value 10 while passing this value 10 just perform explicit type casting just perform explicit type casting now you will get the last line as m1 byte method of class m1 ठीक है तो यहां पे क्या था कांसेप्ट कि ये न्यूमेरिक वैल्यू था जिसमें पॉइंट नहीं था तो बाय डिफॉल्ट कंपाइलर इसको क्या कंसीडर कर रहा था इंट वैल्यू ठीक है उसी उसी पैरामीटर में जाएगा है ना उसी फॉर्मल पैरामीटर के पास जाएगा जिसका डेटा टाइप इंट होगा मैं चाहता हूं कि ये वैल्यू जाए इस मेथड के पास जिसका पैरामीटर का टाइप बाइट तो फिर तुमको इस वैल्यू 10 को एक्सप्लिसिटली कन्वर्ट करना पड़ेगा बाइट टाइप में और वो कैसे करते हैं जस्ट 10 के पहले राउंड ब्रैकेट के अंदर बाइट लिख दो इज दिस क्लियर ओके सो दिस इज मेथड ओवरलोडिंग दिस इज मेथड अब मान लो कोई बोलेगा सर मैं टेस्टर क्लास का यूज नहीं करना चाहता हूं है टेस्टर क्लास अगर नहीं हो सिर्फ एमओ डेमो क्लास मैंने डिफाइन किया होता तो क्या होता राइट क्लिक करने से वो चारों मेथड्स तुमको यहां पे दिखाई देते हैं अब तुम्हारी इच्छा है तुम मान लो इस मेथड को अगर कॉल करो तो डायरेक्टली आउटपुट पाओगे कोई वैल्यू पास करने की जरूरत नहीं लेकिन अगर इसको छोड़ के बाकी तीन को अगर कॉल करोगे तो तुमको वैल्यूज पास करने पड़ेंगे साथ ही साथ क्लियर सो दिस इज द कांसेप्ट ओके so there are some more things about method overloading which we will discuss in the further classes okay i hope today's concept is clear we have just started the method overloading and we will discuss varieties of programs related with method overloading and user defined methods okay so thank you so much for watching this video bye bye take care